guys, okay, so today we're just going to open up Visual Studio, in this case Visual Studio 2015. We're going to install um, Umbraco 7 and just kind of go through the motions on how I set it up. So first thing we're going to do is we're going to create a new project. Uh, I usually select web, ASP.NET, web application. I have it in this folder here. I usually put it kind of one layer down in the source, so go ahead and make sure you create your folder structure before you get this far. As far as naming it, uh, I usually call it the name of the project, in this case, demo.umbraco. And if we hit OK, it'll take us to the next screen where we're going to select empty. And I uncheck everything. Uh, no application insights, no, no extra libraries, because when we install through NuGet with Umbraco, it'll kind of take care of everything. So when we hit OK here, it should take a, a little bit of time here. So let's go ahead and just kind of hang out while that happens. And while that's doing that, I did want to show here, um, the reason I do the source directory is because usually in that directory, I'll do other things like a readme or git ignore, custom Azure deployment here, uh, and grunt or anything like that. Now keep in mind today's uh, demo doesn't work for Umbraco Cloud. This is just if you want to self-host or um, use on Azure or something like that, which is typically what I do. Okay, so so far we have our solution. Uh, we have demo.umbraco. I'm going to rename the solution right quick, uh, get rid of the .umbraco. Um, so we're just going to be the demo solution, and we're going to have the demo.umbraco, and then later we're going to have a demo.core, which is where we're going to put all of our custom bits. Uh, I'm a big fan of using the package manager console for installing um, most anything on uh, NuGet. So we're going to do an install package. I think it's going to be Umbraco CMS. And if we don't put a version or anything, it should grab the latest here and make sure you target the right project. I always tend to mess that up. Uh, so uh, in this case, we have one project right now, so it should be pretty easy for me to get it right this time. Now, while that's doing it, uh, if you've never used the package manager console before, it's simply just going to scroll a bunch of stuff here. And I use this to upgrade too sometimes. Um, of course, some of you may, may be familiar with the, uh, the, uh, the alternate NuGet screen, but we're not going to use that today. So as it scrolls through here, it's adding a bunch of references to my Umbraco project. If I really want to uh, go in here, I can take a look at... Um, the folder structure here. This is my Visual Studio uh, configuration. Here's where those packages are actually getting installed to. Here's the demo solution and here's that demo.umbraco. The packages folder, that gets put in there automatically by NuGet and it's based relative off of the solution, uh, the location of the solution. So we can go ahead and minimize that. And this will take a little bit of time. Now would probably be a good time to um, figure out juggling or something, but in the interest of uh, the magic of videos, we're just going to fast forward in time. Okay, uh, looks like we got Umbraco installed correctly here, and um, if we right-click and build, we can make sure that it works fine. Looks like uh, all done there. If I come here now, um, this is your host file. Uh, this is pretty typical that you update your host file. That's where it's located on your machine, if you can see in the top left there. And we're going to set the local host to resolve to, let's call this whatever we want. In this case, let's just call it demo.local. And we'll go ahead and save that file. And um, next thing I'm going to do is come down here and add a website. And let's call it uh, demo.local. I gotta navigate to where it installed. So here we go, Braco demo, and it should be this directory right here in our case. And then I'm gonna assign it demo.local, and it'll start the website. Um, right, but, yep, go ahead and do that. And then right after that, I'm going to go back here and I'm going to assign some permissions to this folder. Oops, not that one. Let's go to that one. This is where sometimes it gets tricky because uh, sometimes I get sharing conflicts here, or at least Windows is acting up. So what I want to do is add is app with three p's there pool slash demo dot local 
if I check that name, it's happy. Uh, I'm going to give it full control. It's just my dev machine. Shouldn't be too much of an issue. And great, no errors. Sometimes it gives you that really crazy error right there. It says it can't traverse or you can't move through the innumerable, blah, 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 uh, for another time maybe. Okay, so now that that's set up, we have our website there. Um, there's a good chance that we have, uh, well, it worked. Hey, look at there. Umbraco7, let's add our name. Let's pick a password. Uh, in our case, we're going to pick something very mundane right now. It's very super secret. Uh, if you share that on the internet, I will be very upset with you. This is my standard password that I use on all websites. Okay, not really. Uh, we're going to hit customize here because we have our own database that we want to use. I'm going to use one locally. Uh, so we're going to select that one there. Of course, if you're using, uh, I'm sorry, we're going to be using this one. Of course, if you're using uh, SQL CE, Azure, MySQL, etc., you're going to be using that, those other things. Uh, for my server, we should be something to this effect. Hey, look at that. We need a database. So uh, let's fire up SQL Server Management Studio and create a new database. And let's just call this guy Demo. Hit OK. Boom, there it is, a nice empty database. So now we should be able to type in demo right there. Login credentials. Uh, this is also super secret uh, here. Uh, of course, if you get a hold of my password, you'll be able to hack my system should you actually get physical access to my machine. So uh, actually, I'm not too worried. So if we hit continue here, cross our fingers. No thanks. Now, I don't want to start our uh, website if you want. You know, go ahead and and select that. But by default, I always want to blank uh, Umbraco website uh, because I'm going to do pretty much everything. So while that's doing that, I'm going to go ahead and create a secondary um, project here. And the, the purpose of this secondary project, and it can just be a class library, um, the purpose here is uh, so you can just put kind of your custom stuff in there. So I'm going to call this one demo.core. I uh, made sure I put it also as a sibling to in the source directory there. If I hit OK, we're mostly there. Awesome, we got our famed class one, which we will delete immediately. And then we would like uh, the uh, demo.embraco to depend on demo.core. So let's see, we're going to add a reference. There it is. Check that box. All right, now that we're happy with that Umbraco is installed with everything, uh, there's one important thing I want to do is because this one has no has no idea what Umbraco is, right? So um, there's a alternate way to install Umbraco, but we're going to add it to just the other project. So if we if we just hit up arrow, install package Umbraco CMS core, and switch over to the core package. By the way, that's just coincidental naming. You don't have to name it like that. And I hit enter. Uh, what it'll do is it'll bring down uh, Umbraco again, but really it's just the core binaries that will come down and get referenced here. So as we watch it here over on the right, you can see all that fun stuff get installed over there. And we won't wait a whole long time for this, but uh, I think you get the idea. Okay, and there it is installed. So now we have all of our references to Umbraco in that project, so we're free to put our controllers or any Umbraco-specific code over there. Look at that. Umbraco is installed, and it's ready to go. So um, there we go. Okay, so uh, we're not going to cover installing uh, any plugins on this particular one, but I just wanted to give you an idea that, hey, look at that. We're at demo.local. Um, if we go to the front end here, It'll probably give us a nice 404 screen. Nice being not nice, but that's okay. Hey, actually, is a nice one. Uh, there's some stuff there that you can read about. And in general, I think we did it. So uh, to recap, uh, we uh, created a project for the demo.embraco. We installed it with NuGet. We created a second project that's going to be where all of our kind of extended 
bits of Embraco are going to go. And then um, we created a database. We fiddled around in IIS. We fiddled around in the host file. And now you should be ready to get going. Thanks for watching. Hey guys, thanks for watching. But what I really need from you is you to hit the subscribe button below. Thanks for watching again. Bye.